Hello, this is Simon Everson of Property Box Weekly News, and I'm reporting live from the Legacy Education Annual Awards Dinner. Second one here at the Savoy. Last year we had a fantastic event. Guests are starting to arrive, and the level of excitement is starting to build. I think it's going to be a fantastic, wonderful evening. Our host this evening, Mark Durden Smith, is making his final preparations. The students of Arts Ed School have been uh, rehearsing just now on the dance floor, and Boney M, I've heard, are in the building. It's such an important charity for us, what we, what we do. We, we, we make dreams come true for, for people, you know, grant their own wishes. This is a, a fairly innocent charity that, that we've chosen that, that does fantastic things for uh, unfortunate children. So, you know, we, we, we love it. We've been involved for 10 years now and every year it just gets bigger and better. I know you're a mentor now, but when did you first start as a student with Legacy? Student, oh, about five years ago in 2010. And what made you actually go, I am going to get involved in this? The, the ethic of the company, I mean, obviously I saw something there that made me want to take the plunge and to move forward. And what are you looking forward to most about this evening? Oh, just the celebrations and the awards and just meeting the people, the family, it's absolutely fantastic. Way down from Liverpool this evening to enjoy a fantastic night with Legacy. Um, Boney M are headlining. Tell me, what is your favourite track? The Rivers of Babylon, obviously. Yeah, Babylon. It's be, uh, so, Rivers of Babylon, will you then be up and dancing? Uh, yeah. Are you going to be watching me or what? I think <laughs> probably. It's probably more a case of just try and stop me. Last year, we were so proud of the award we had for the T60 coaching programme. It just inspired us, really. Uh, it just reassured us that we were really adding value. Uh, we had lots and lots of congratulations, and it, it made us raise our game, to be honest with you. Brilliant. Well, can I just say, well done. Thank you. So, Owen, tell me, you're one of our youngest and newest members of the uh, fabulous admin team, but you've been inspired by Legacy, and, start, and you're making inroads into investing in property. Tell us why. It's just a secure asset, you know. Um, I, I really want to have that legacy, obviously, for my parents, but also for myself, you know, later in life as well. So um, I, I want to, I want to get that foundation down now, so I can have it for later. That, that's really the reason. At the end of the day. So, uh, I'm fantastic. Tell us, how old are you? I'm 19 right now. So if a 19-year-old can get started, that means anybody can. Robbie, you've been a member of a team pretty much all of your life. Yes. Um, you're part of a completely different sort of team at the, right now with, with Legacy. How, how, how do you find being part of this team? You, you know what, brilliant. I think, I mean, you've just hit the nail on the head. When you're, when you're part of a team and you feel, um, you feel comfortable, I think everything's, uh, everything's perfect. And you, know, you come here and you, know, you meet so many great people here. It, it's, it's just all up in here forever. Legacy has been hugely influential to you over the years and, and you've just set up a, a new business together. Tell me about that. Okay, so um, because of what Legacy gave us, we both set up uh, lettings businesses independently and then we found each other. Um, I found out obviously she'd come from the same family as me, which we didn't know before. And knowing that we were both from the same breed basically, we got together and we've built a fantastic business that's going to be growing, we're going to be managing HMOs in our area, which is a market that nobody else has got there yet, yep. and uh, hopefully sourcing property deals as well, uh, and we're looking forward to our future. There is opportunity everywhere, um, and uh, to believe that you can actually achieve something if you really want to achieve it. Um, I came here, this is my first time tonight after 10 years, um, back then it was obviously a different name but what I did also learn is that you need to connect with other people and that's how me and Helen got together. James, you climbed Kilimanjaro in aid of Make-A-Wish yes. this year. Are you going to do it again? Probably not. Probably not. And why is that? Because I've already done it twice and I don't think I need to do it a third time. Maybe a bigger mountain next time. But will you still uh, continue supporting Make-A-Wish? Absolutely, 100%. 
why why is it important that you continue that supporting make a wish um, i feel we're in a privileged position and um it's very good to be able to help people that are in less fortunate positions and give back so being able to raise a large sum of money for make a wish was i, I thoroughly enjoyed doing it and yeah on to the next mountain and more, more money for make a wish looking after those kids seeing those videos my god who wouldn't do it um when you when you see those videos and the money, and it's not a lot of money that goes to those uh, uh, to those kids, but it makes such a massive, massive, massive difference. Yeah. And you danced up Kilimanjaro uh, earlier this year. Are you going to be dancing later? I certainly didn't dance up Kilimanjaro. <laughs> that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. But let me tell you, every penny that we've raised from that Kilimanjaro trip has gone to all those kids. And as we were going up that mountain, that was one of the foremost things in our minds. Do not let these kids down. There we go. It's the best day of your life and I can't thank everyone that's got my wish come, come true and it's an amazing cause and I hope you raise a lot of money tonight and make a wish. This evening is in aid of Make a Wish and there's some fantastic lots uh, up in the auction, in the silent auction. The bidding is going to be fast and furious, I'm sure, and we're going to raise a fantastic amount of money for the Make-A-Wish charity. Are you going to be bidding? Yeah, I'll give it a bid, yeah. Anything caught your eye so far? Uh, I have had a look, to be honest, yeah, but that boxing glove over there looks quite nice. Well, I hope you win it. Loads of um, lots up for the silent auction this evening. Anything you've got your eye on? I haven't seen what's up for auction, but if I win it, I won't be silent about it. <laughs> You're never silent about much, are you, Rob? No. As an organisation, Legacy constantly strives towards excellence at every level. And tonight we celebrate success in all its guises, and in particular, the five P's of excellence. These are five awards that are handed out to five most worthy recipients, many of whom have trained or been trained by LEA. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You must be absolutely thrilled. No, it's a great achievement. You know, um, I've been doing this a long while and to be recognised for helping people, you know, achieve their passion and their dreams, you know, means a lot to me. People who do give back actually get far more reward than that, than the actual success, their initial successes. Would you agree? I think so. I mean, um, life's all about, you know, helping other people, in my opinion anyway. And um, if you can do good things, good things happen to you. I mean, they, uh, I was under breaking points and uh, because of family reasons and financial reasons, I was totally broken. Uh, I had 40 pounds in my bank account. I wanted to go back to India. I said this wasn't good. My son was, he could, he's a special child. He couldn't talk uh, a single word till he was five years old. Uh, but uh, the right time, the right people, the good hearted people came forward, pushed me forward. The support that I've been getting from Legacy are just absolutely brilliant. They've backed this 100% and I think this just really validates that they're really behind it as well. They actually see the potential of it and it just it, it validates the last two years of work really. Yeah.